vulnerable to the violence in Mexico. Employees of Hidalgo County Water Improvement District Number 3 pumping station have seen it all. Almost a year ago, they were shot at from across the border, and just recently, the pumping station was allegedly raided by thieves, only increasing the concern for employee safety. We'll spare no resource in making certain that we have the safety and security that we want in Texas and in America. Agricultural Commissioner Todd Staples tells Action 4 News, despite adding more resources to the Rio Grande Valley, the threat of violence from our neighbors to the south still lingers. And saying our borders are, quote, safer than ever is a dangerous statement to make. It is totally unreal to make statements like that because that only emboldens and empowers the violent drug cartel members that are chasing Texas farmers and ranchers off their property. He says the continued presence of state and federal agencies along our borders is the only way the U.S. is going to keep control and keep the violence out. They're standing in harm's way and they're protecting them and we're going to win this, this battle. It's a battle Mary's son Jaime Zapata was helping to fight but in Mexico. He was allegedly killed by Mexican drug cartel members in February of 2011. While Mary is proud of her son, the hurt she feels a year after his death is still strong. Son's um, uh, birthday is coming up May 7th and uh, another year without him is just very painful. It's very painful. It's, nothing will replace my son, you know. He was a great person, a great humanitarian, uh, very dedicated to his country, to his job, to his friends, and that's gone. While her son might be gone, his memory lives on in the form of a sign and newly constructed boat ramp that will be used by state and federal agencies to continue protecting the U.S. against violence from Mexico, giving them direct access to the Rio Grande, the only boundary separating the U.S. from Mexico. Mary says the dedication is appropriate because that's what her son did protected our country. In Hidalgo, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.